Warning. These mods require a gaggle of other mods to work properly. So, to make your life easy, every required mod will be linked underneath each mod. Doing so took a finger cramping amount of time. So do me a favor and give this video a like. Enjoy. So guys, today's first mod is called the Sandy mod, which honestly, I'm not so sure why it's called Sandy because it's not that sane, it's kind of crazy. The mod was by Greenfire, so good job Greenfire and thanks for making this thing. We'll be using this mod throughout the entire video today because it's just sick. It is. This is number one on the top five. You'll find it a lot easier to do the fourth thing that I will show you that comes with this mod if you have a lightsaber. Just trust me, I know it's very cryptic how I'm saying it, just trust me, a lightsaber is the way to go with a fourth component of the sanity mod. I digress. Guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So yeah, I was saying before, like, I don't know why this thing is called sanity, because it's definitely not a sane mod to use. But you, f you come over here to waves, and you'll find a category called sanity. Scroll down to whatever one you want. Now, just so you're aware, the only NPCs that are available for this wave at the moment is the witches and warlock and mercenaries. So let's go. There's four different things that you can do with this mod to these amazing cute little NPCs. Like first, you want to run up to one, grab it on the head, cute Aww. little buddy. You can just give him a little brain freeze. Where now he's stuck. Now you got a whole bunch of little minions. They can't move. They can still do their magic and everything like that. But as you can see, stuck. I've fallen and I can't get up. Now let's go on to the second thing you can do with these things. If you want to be just a really evil human being, you just grab them in the neck like this, like Anakin. You thunder against me! Press the trigger button and just wait for a second and you'll kill them, you'll just suffocate them. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And if suffocation isn't enough for you, with the hand, you can always grab them, always grab their head, grab their neck, crack their neck from their body, they're done third you could do with these things is grab their face like so hit trigger you gotta wait a couple seconds for this to work there we go you suffocated him again but this time by not choking him out by t closing his nose and his mouth so those are things that you can do with your hands to them but let me show you what i meant by it's easier to do it with the lightsaber I'm gonna come over here to the Lightsaber Legends pack. LB. There we go. Cut them in two. Watch their guts split out. You gotta hit them very, very precisely. <laughs> Yay, guts. If you wanna get real extra with it, all you gotta do. See, you can even throw them against a wall and their guts may just pop out their body. Since there's no more guys, on to the next mob, but we're gonna keep on running this sanity wave until the video's over, cause they're dope. So next up guys, we got a two piece. We have the high tech wrist mount, which in order to make this mod work proper, you have to get the more slots mod, which I'll leave down below in the description of this video as well, underneath this mod. Put it right there, blade. And this mod also comes with an energy pistol. So now we're going to light them up and stab them up. <laughs> so not that mean, but that's fine. Because we have this, which is actually kind of hard to use. As I will say, the angle of it is a little weird. So it does take some getting used to. Take the pistol. Killing out. Get out. No way, this thing can cut him in half too. Come here! Come here! Ah! <laughs> this is working. I'm proud of us right now. You guys would be very hyped to know that this wrist mount could do way more than just spit out a blade. It can do five other very cool and very unique to help you advance in just killing and stabbing NPCs all day. You got the blade, as you know. But if you hit the trigger button on your other hand up to the controller, you can change it to a shield, like a Mandalorian shield in a way. But that's not even the best thing you can do with this thing. You can also get a blaster and just bla oh. blast your enemies or attempt to blast your enemies. 
Oh my god. But if blasting arms off isn't enough for you, or blasting bodies in half, you could always hit it again and hit them with a missile. Again, aiming this thing is incredibly difficult, but you'll enjoy it once you get the hang of it, trust me. But this thing can do more than just shoot missiles at people, or shoot blasts at people, or be used to stab things with. You could also switch it to Fabricator. And what Fabricator does is it makes you weapons just out the blue that you can actually grab and then use. Just grab your boy here and stab him in the face like a psychopath. And the cool thing with these wrist mounts is you can actually hold weapons in both hands and still have them. So now you can have two knives. Two knives for all your needs. Ha! Ah, no magic. No magic for you, son. This is the coolest damn device. That was bad. What? In the dick, that always works. The balls is the weight of the soul. What? Hmm. And the last thing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wristband can do is if you want to teleport, can. You can teleport. Bye. It's kind of hard to control where you're gonna end up with the teleporter. Because there is, like, you know, of course, a slight angle like malfunction in it. But it's still pretty solid. So I definitely recommend y'all checking this one out too. And fantastic job to the creator of this mod. Well, guys, let's get on to number four of this mod list because these mods literally bring Nomad back to life. So guys, the next one on this top five that's bringing the mods back to life on Nomad is called the Runic War Pick. This thing does two really cool things. One, it changes direction. You got a spear direction and you got an axe direction. But that's not even the best part. You've all heard of Severus Snape. You've all heard Lord Voldemort. But you've never heard of Lord John's World. Always choose to just, you know, shank if you want. Come for me. Yeah. Eh. 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 Wow, I'm very bad at this. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I got magic too. I feel like the Ice Queen from frickin' Narnia right now. Before he dies. Is this how she felt the entire time? Oh my god, he, he just ate it. You good? Look at how tough we look. Is lining up to take out our enemies with fierceness. <laughs> So it doesn't pick up so well on the chop, but you don't really need the chop or the stab when you know you can just blast us into oblivion. Now, I know for a fact that all of you have seen and has possibly been very disapproving of the Green Lantern series, but this mod, this ring right here makes it all worth it and makes it all kind of better. So if you hit the spell wheel button, it'll be prompted with a dagger a big old sword, an even bigger, bigger sword, and a pistol. And you can use all of these items to stab and to blow up your enemies, however you may choose. So for example, let's go first with the knife. And it glows green. Shake, shake. Down, boy. Eat the knife. Why don't you? And you can spawn as many of these as you want. And you can really just straight up spawn these all damn day. And then just choose who you want to inflict damage upon. Now we can go for the mid-level sword. Now this sword looks pretty sick. Pretty damn sick, but let's see how it cuts, shall we? Oh! Oh, that looked a lot worse than it was, but Jesus. Cut like butter in a hot knife. Oh, you can't hit me. 
the balls. Now we got the big boy. Big boy. Look at this thing. Just obscenely large. Just like, wow. You can't hold items in the hand that has the ring on it. So for a second, I'm just going to put this down so I can get to whipping and cutting and slicing. Because I am a god. I missed all of those swings. You suck. Yeah. Oh. You just took that. Like a pro. That sucks to be you, don't it? And finally, guys, on to the pistol that comes with this ring. So guys, last but not least on this ring mod, this thing is beautiful. And the cool part about this is it works a lot like a regular gun. So once you're out of ammo, it's six rounds, I think. Oh, six. You have to hit the spell button again to rechamber it. And it works like a pro. Don't just take that shot. Die. If you don't know already about what I'm alluding to, this should help you figure that out. Right now with Jangle Fett, it's time to get into this game and show you guys the last mod of the day that makes Nomad come back to life in a much better way. We got... These mounts also come with homing missiles, which kind of work, but the creator of this mod said that he will update the homing missiles to make them work proper and make them work a lot better. But until then, let's go. The wrist mount is really mainly designed for the left arm. And when you have it on both arms, the left hand will control both sides. So if you want it to be nothing, you don't touch anything, this side will control it. If you want it to be on fire, so let me show you guys as like a test. <laughs> Amanda O. Now, how you turn the wrist mount on and off is you kick. So to kick, now it's off on both sides. Kick again. Now the angle for these are kind of hard to get used to as well, just like the other wrist mount. But if you guys just look at where this spire is on this side, generally it's going to point in that direction because that's where the flame is actually going to come from. You hit the spell button, now you got missiles. There we go. See, you can see like it's kind of off a little bit, but it hits and it does work and it does destroy the enemy with this calm, calm swish. Today's mods were really awesome. I appreciate you guys for watching. Definitely go check out every single mod down below in the description of this video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, every required mod to make each mod from today's video work with Pristine will be linked down below in the description of this video underneath each mod. It should be very easy to follow. Do not miss a step because if you miss one mod that is required for the mod that you want to use to work, it won't work. I appreciate you guys for watching today's video. Definitely go check out my Discord. That will be linked down below in the description of this video as well. Thank you so much for all the modders that created these mods currently because I truly believe that it brings Nomad back to life. Nomad had a dry spell. Really did for a hot minute. Everyone in this video, y'all did fantastic in revamping the fun of this game. If you guys haven't liked this video already, please go ahead and like it. I would love for it to get out to as many people as possible. I do have a goal for this video to hit a thousand views, so if y'all wouldn't mind just clicking that like button, subscribing, sharing it with a friend, pushing this thing as much as possible, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah guys, that was John Drill VR. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.